ओम नमः शिवाय फ्रेंड्स ऑल ऑफ यू यू कम टू माय ऑफिस वी टॉक अबाउट द आर्ट वर्क कैप्ट इन माय ऑफिस एंड स्पेशली द पेंटिंग व्हिच इज राइट एट द एंट्रेंस ओके दैट ऑफ अ विट्रूवियन मैन ओके और विट्रूवियस व्हिच इज मेड बाय लियोनार्डो डा विंची ओके Leonardo da Vinci who was born under Rohini nakshatra he has mercury karma extraordinary intellectual capabilities okay and this particular painting is the answer for thousands of problems uh if it's about biological sciences if it's about architecture if it's about science it's if it's about mathematics if it's about geometry this particular painting is a masterpiece okay of leonardo da vinci and talks about many things we we'll let's try to understand this okay for around 2000 years you know uh people across world okay there was one problem okay which challenged all the mathematicians across the world of squaring a circle okay like if you are given a circle okay and you are given the area of the circle okay we know that the formula to calculate the uh, area of the circle is pi r square okay so we can easily find the area of the circle but with the same area keeping the area constant keeping the area same casting a square of the exactly similar area was a big uh, was a great challenge to mathematicians across the globe okay so in this painting he what he does is he uh, you know superimposes a circle and a square okay the navel the navel of the vitruvian man is the center of the circle while the genitals mark the center of the square okay this is the one big thing is big contribution okay Uh, and this this particular structure forms the basis of lot of architecture and engineering across the globe okay and one more speciality about this is that uh, if you like the entire body of a man okay it's made out of fixed proportions 14 exact prop- proportions okay uh, like the cubit would be in certain proportion the palm would be in certain proportion so 14 exact proportion the body is cast out of it and one very interesting thing about it is if you join the navel okay and the top edge the top corner okay of the of the circle where the hand touches okay and if you cast a vertical angle like that okay the angle would be 51.843 degrees this is the exact same angle of the pyramids of egypt the giza pyramids or any pyramids of egypt if you take this 51.843 degree and till date we see that these pyramids in egypt okay after thousands of years okay they stand tall okay are uh, fighting the process of weathering okay weather challenge is still they are intact is standing tall okay and this is the uh, like same uh, radial proportion for the orbit of earth and moon okay the moon uh the moon orbits around the earth in this similar fashion okay let's go ahead uh, like 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 as i told you from uh, casting a vertical angle okay touching the and hand and the top topmost uh like joining the navel the entire figure would give such six exactly such sides of a pyramid this again reiterates to the fact that the body of a human being is made up of fixed proportion which we call as the golden ratio or the phi ratio okay and how is this ratio like if you if you Take the palm, four fingers, one, two, three, four. This would be one palm, okay, one palm, and four such palms would encompass 
create a foot, a foot, okay? And six such palms would incorporate one cubit. One cubit would be six such palms. And exactly four cubits would comprise that of a man. Now, to, for me, to put it in simpler words, if the height, let's say you um, measure six feet, you're six feet tall. And if you outstretch your arm like this, the height of this, this end to this end would be exactly six feet. That is what Leonardo da Vinci is trying to reiterate in this. And one more very interesting thing. If you draw two arcs, like if you touch this hand to the navel, and if you touch this palm to the navel, okay, you will get one minor arc and one major arc. For all who have studied science or mathematics would know what is a minor arc and what is a major arc. So the minor arc would measure 137.5 degrees, okay, and the major arc would measure 222.5 degrees. Now, if you take the ratio of the minor arc, angle of the minor arc and the major arc, it would give you a recurring number, which is the magical number, which is the magical ratio, which is 1.618, which is the golden ratio. I have made a series of videos about golden ratio. You can check on my YouTube channel. But what is golden ratio? It is the nature's geometry. There's a series of numbers called the Fibonacci numbers. The series starts from 0, 1, 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8. Now, if you divide the other number by the previous number, there would be this constant number which is called as 1.618 and it is the golden ratio. It forms the it forms the like basis for everything we see in the universe. I talked about the elephant's tusk, the seashell, the flowers, the leaves, everything is made up of this ratio. Another interesting thing that uh, modern science, okay, we believe that brain or heart are the centers of human body, okay. Like we often read that heart is the center for human body, brain is the center for human body. This painting reiterates to the fact that the navel, our navel is the center for uh, for the human body okay and it is indeed true that you know when you're under a flight or fright fright situation let's say you're driving a car and you apply quick brakes okay the first fear or the first uh, stimulation you would feel on the navel navel okay when the child is in the womb of the mother when the brain and the heart are not yet developed also it's then through the navel the child breathes and the entire nourishment nutrition is acquired through the navel so navel is the most important center of the human body okay and working on the navel meditating on the navel through navel you can solve a lot of problems in your life it also uh, gives th this drawing you okay it also talks about like i told you uh, the head the head of the human being if you take such eight such heads okay the height would equal to the height of the human body our head if you take eight such heads it would be the height of the human body and also our vedas our vedic literature talks about the seven chakras or some also say the eight chakras or the seven energy centers okay this also pays a way for spiritual development okay there are eight uh, subdivisions or the seven energy centers which can be triggered so n number of lot of things lot of mysteries of the universe are solved by you know if you take the universe it is an ellipsoid in shape okay oval in shape and every ellipse has two center points okay what we need to learn from Leonardo da Vinci is he studied everything as a system now if you take universe as a system it's an ellipsoid in shape and you have two center points of ellipsoid likewise in the human body also there's a circle and the center is the navel and square the center is the genital so human body also you can think of two centers important energy centers in the human body so also uh, like if you see leonardo da's work it, it would appear that he was a great scientist with the passion for art also at times it would appear that he was a great artist with the passion for science so read about 
uh, even the DNA astrology, even the astrology of nakshatra is okay. It is also based on the golden ratio. If you want to know more about golden ratio, subscribe to our YouTube channel. और यदि आप अपनी जन्म पत्रिका दिखाना चाहते हैं अच्छे क्वालिटी के जेम स्टोन्स चाहते हैं या पूजा पाठ आदि कोई शुभ मांगले कार्य करवाना चाहते हैं तो संपर्क करें हमारे महर्षि एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल सेंटर में मेरा नंबर है नाइन फाइव जीरो थ्री फाइव नाइन सिक्स सेवन सिक्स देखते रहे मेरे वीडियोस महर्षि एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल सेंटर पे थैंक्स